Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. This is a very special video today. We're going to do our first unboxing video. We had a nice visit yesterday from uh, Lee from Mega. Turns out his surname is actually Lee Baker. More on that later. Uh, and he dropped off for us uh, the Mega Avo 835. Uh, for us to use uh, in our videos, which is really, really exciting. We're very, very grateful for. So we're going to open this up. We're going to have a look at it and see what it can do. So here we've got the box with the uh, AVO 835 in it. We're going to have a look at a few of the points that are on here. Even before we open it up, we can see here uh, that this is a true RMS multimeter, which is really, really nice. That means that it's going to give us very accurate readings when we measure AC uh, voltage on that. That's really good. It's got a phase rotation detection as well, which is not something that you see on most multimeters. On the back, we can see the list of things that it does for us. And as you can see, because we've got the AVO 835, it does the full list, which is really, really nice. Okay, so there's literally nothing missing uh, from this uh, meter. Right, so we'll open up the seals and we'll have a look at what's inside. So we'll cut this open nice and carefully. Cut that side and we'll cut that side. Let's open it up and have a look. So we'll get the Mega Avo 835 out of the box and we'll have a look at what we've got inside. So there's the multimeter. I can tell you that is a really nice weighty feeling multimeter. That's got a real uh, nice weight to it. Not too heavy, but not so light that it feels cheap, which is really, really good. We've got some leads. We've got a set of manuals, which we'll be able to have a look at. Some uh, calibration information, which is really good. So we'll put those to one side. We might need to have a look at those later. So here we've got the meter itself, which is a lovely looking meter, I'm sure you'll agree. Looks absolutely smashing. Uh, I'm going to open this up and have a look at it. Uh, here we've got some very nice professional looking leads. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are going to do us really nicely, uh, whether we want to test live or dead. We've got the uh, uh, maximum recommended tip showing there, as recommended by GS38. So we've got no more than four millimeters showing, and we can take that off uh, if we're doing dead testing and we need to access a terminal uh, with a larger surface area there, which is good. So they're really nice. This little fella, we've got a uh, temperature detector. So this looks like a thermocouple to me, yep. Uh, and it is a K-type thermocouple as well, which is really good. So uh, we'll be able to plug this into the meter and we'll be able to use that tiny little tip that you can just see poking out there. We'll be able to use that tiny little tip there. We'll put that onto an object and that will tell us how hot or cold something is. So we'll enjoy uh, having a play with that in the workshop. Uh, we can use that to test the heat of motors uh, and various things to see if they're running at the right temperature or if they're running a little bit hot. We could probably pop them on circuit breakers as well and see uh, if they're running hot, maybe even on overloaded cables as an experiment. Getting lots of ideas for videos as I'm unboxing this, which is fantastic. So let's open up the meter itself. So let's get the multimeter opened up. We'll get it out of the uh, plastic now. And again, this is uh, all taped up nice and securely so you can tell that it's not been tampered with. And we'll have a look at the actual multimeter. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Now this is a lovely moment whenever you get anything new. Uh, it's not something uh, that uh, I take lightly. Uh, I have a habit of taking a long time to remove the little plastic film from the screen because once it's off, it's off. Yeah, it, it never goes back on and it never feels quite the same way when it comes off. So let's just remove this now. Oh, that's a nice moment. That's a lovely moment. I enjoyed that very much. That alone was worth receiving the new multimeter for. That was lovely. So one kind of annoying thing often when you buy a new multimeter is sorting out the battery situation. So we want to try and get the batteries put in there. Now, uh, oftentimes you'll turn the back over, you'll find it's a microscopic little uh, Phillips screwdriver head that you need to undo. But of course, Mega have thought this through. They've used a nice uh, flat head screwdriver there uh, that we don't need to get a specialized screwdriver for. And also what's really nice is we don't even need to open up that battery compartment because the Mega Avo 835 comes preloaded with batteries, which is fantastic. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick overview now of uh, the different settings that are available on the Avo 835. 
But what we're going to do is a much more in-depth video on how to set up a multimeter and that will enable us to discuss in much more depth uh, some of the settings and the options that we have on here. So as you can see, just working our way around the dial, we've got uh, a milliamp setting uh, for AC, uh, current setting for AC, temperature setting, we can measure uh, capacitance, uh, resistance, phase rotation, frequency, we've got AC and DC voltage there as well, and we've got numerous other settings that we can flick between. So on the capacitor setting, we can also check uh, diodes. So there's some settings here that I'm going to have to have a look at and familiarise myself with before we make the next video. But there's one thing that I just want to double check here because I think there's a really lovely uh, thing going on here. Oh, it does. It does. That's lovely. One of the major problems when you're setting up a multimeter is uh, there's a number of terminals that you can connect your probes into. And if you get the wrong probes in the wrong terminals, um, the best thing that can happen is you won't get a reading or your reading will be very strange. The worst case thing that can happen is you can actually really badly damage the multimeter. But if you look at these uh, terminals down here where we're going to put our leads, you can see that as we go through the different settings, different terminals are closed and opened up, which means that this meter makes it physically impossible, I think, to put anything into the wrong terminal, which is really, really clever. Properly love that. So that's a very quick introduction to the AVO835. Thank you again to Mega for providing us with this. This is a fantastic bit of kit and we're going to use this a lot in our videos coming up and uh, we're going to, uh, to enjoy that. So watch this space for future videos featuring the AVO835.